Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to be using some goodies from the brand new Santa's Lane Christmas card making kit from Spellbinders to create some cards. I hope you'll stick around, get more info about the kit and see the cards that I'm going to create. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Spellbinders just released a whole bunch of crafty goodness for Christmas one of which is the Santa Lane Christmas card making kit. Now this is a limited edition kit and they were kind enough to send me some of the goodies from it to use to create with. Not only do you get everything you see in front of you in that kit, but they have pattern papers, cardstock, card bases, stamps, dies, more embellishments. It is chock full of goodness. So if you want to check out my description box below, I will have a link for you. Also linked down there will be each of the individual items that they sent me. And as I start to use those during the process of the video, I will let you know what they are. I thought today I would use some stickers to create cards and normally as card makers that might not be the first thing we turn to but I think you're going to see that they can make some awfully cute cards. Once I do get started on the process I will let you know of other tools and products I bring in but as always if I ever leave you with any questions feel free to leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty! For this first card, I'm going to use the Santa Lane sticker pack and the peppermint sprinkles to create a frameless shaker card. I did some prep off screen by cutting a piece of white cardstock to 3 and 3 quarters by 5 and I used a snowflake embossing folder on it. I also die cut a circle that is about two and a half inches and then I cut a piece of Duralar that is one inch on both measurements larger than my white cardstock. So it is four and three quarters by six inches. I then cut kind of a burgundy mat for the white cardstock and I'll be using a top fold craft card base. To get started, I'm going to be making this shaker pocket with the Duralar and I put my piece of cardstock face down in the center and I'm just going to fold up each edge and give it a nice crease. Now on screen, I did forget to crease all four edges, but you will want to do that before you remove the cardstock out of it and then I cut off the corners so later when I fold it on the back, there will be less bulk there. Using the stickers from the pack, I'm going to be decorating the circle that will go on the front of the Duralar. Now because the sprinkles are peppermint, I thought I would go with a candy theme when decorating this. So I chose a couple candy canes and then a gold foil kind of starlight mint, I think they're called. Now for the sentiment, since many of us celebrate different seasons and holidays in the winter. I did go ahead and go with three different ones thinking it would cover a wide variety. So once I have those all together, I'm going to get this put on the front of the plastic. Now the stickers will kind of hold it in place, but once I had it where I wanted it, I did bring in my art glitter glue and I added some more to the back just to add a little extra adhesive and security. I let that sit for about five minutes before moving on. Once that focal point was all dry, it was time to make the shaker. I did recrease that bottom edge and I made sure when I placed my cardstock into it that it was still centered left to right where the previous creases for the edge were made. Then I brought in my ATG, you do want a nice strong glue for this, and I glued down three of the edges, leaving that opening on top. 
The peppermint sprinkle mix is full of cute little elements. It has red and white mints, some red and white sprinkles, white stars, and cute little pink bow ties. I put some into my shaker and I did decide to go ahead and just add everything I had in my little container to make it look nice and full. And once everything was in place and I had kind of shaken it down so everything was nice and flat, I turned the piece over and added adhesive to that fourth flap. This piece was now ready to add to the burgundy mat and you will see that I used quite a bit of extra adhesive. Not only did I put it on the cardstock, but I put some on the back of the shaker as well. And this is just to help hold it together later in case that Duralar tries to pop open. But here's a look at the finished card, which I added to the craft card base. And on the inside, I added a piece of white cardstock for the message and one of the little gold foil mints on the bottom right. For the next card, I will also be using the sticker pack, and I had just fallen in love with the cute little house stickers, so I knew I had to use those. And then over on one of the other sheets, they had some great little sentiment pieces, and I chose the one that said, All Hearts Come Home for Christmas. For this card, I'm going to get started by creating a little background scene for my houses. To do this off camera, I cut a wavy piece of masking paper to help kind of be snowy hills. And I'm going to be using this micro cloud edger stencil to give it some sky. Now once I have my clouds all done here with that light blue ink, I do then go along just the edge of the snowbank so that is more pronounced. And you'll see here then when I pull back the masking paper that I have a cute little scene to lay my stickers out on. Off screen I did prepare a craft mat for my scenery piece and another piece of the snowflake embossed white cardstock for the front and a craft card base. I'm going to go ahead and put the white snowflake piece onto the front of the card, just flat down and centered. And then I matted my sky piece onto the craft mat for that. And you'll notice that it does fill left to right, but there's a little craft peeking out on the top and bottom. Before I add this piece to the card front, I do want to go ahead and add my stickers. Now I wanted to use three houses just because of the rule of odds, so I chose one larger one and two smaller ones and arranged those onto the snowy hills. Once those were in place, I brought in the sheet that had the sentiment piece, which once again reads, All Hearts Come Home for Christmas, and I placed it onto a scrap of white cardstock and then cut it down so there was an even white border all the way around. Now this is so after I put the card together, I can use some foam tape on the back of it to pop it up off the card. This just gives a little extra dimension and that cardstock helped make it more firm. Here's a look at that finished card. I love the little scene I created with the houses and I liked that kind of layout and idea with the stickers. So off camera I made another one using some stockings and I did kind of a brickwork stencil behind that. Here are some close-up looks at all three finished cards. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I turned some cute stickers into even cuter cards. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Until the next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.